they come to the intro? <laughs> what do you want me oh to my do? God. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. We have a guest with us today, The Bay. And you guys asked us some questions on Instagram with that post that I dropped last night. So we're gonna go ahead and answer those questions right now. So let's get right to it. First question is coming in from SamDemand21 and the question is, what is your dream car? Okay, my dream car is the Lamborghini Aventador and I want that in gold with some gloss black wheels. Boom, that's how we do it, that's how we're gonna ride. And I have that on my desktop, that's what I look at every single day, that's my motivation. I wanna get one one day, hopefully I'll have one. But what is your dream car? Um, white Range Rover with black wheels, black leather interior. Second question is coming in from It's Just Brandon, and he left a comment asking, is there anything you regret doing or not doing in your YouTube career? Sorry, this is like my, my fifth time saying this. I'm gonna get it straight this time. <coughs> when I think about it, I don't regret anything with this whole YouTube career. I love it. A lot of you guys show support, a lot of love, and a whole bunch of opportunities have been stemming just from this YouTube thing. So there's a whole bunch of opportunities that have just been sprouting out kind of like a tree, the branches and stuff like that. But um, if there's anything I could regret, I would just say it would be the time that I started my YouTube. I wish I started this channel a long time ago, but it is what it is and it's all good. I love what I'm doing and I'm gonna keep this thing rolling. Car Clean asks, pet peeves? I hate it when people click their fucking teeth at me. <laughs> Shit like that, that pisses me off. When, okay, that's, that's one of them. The teeth clicks, the fucking click your teeth at me. Another thing that that really bothers me is when people say you should do something. You should da da da. No. Don't tell me what to do. I will do what I want to do. Boonie boys, rebel life, you know how it goes. So one of my pet peeves is when you're at school and you're walking in like a narrow hallway and people walk so slow in front of you. Like I'm trying to get to class and not be late, but they're just standing in my way. Like... That's me right there. Underscore BP underscore 97 underscore asks, Do you let your girlfriend drive the Lex? I've driven it twice, I think. Is it? Maybe. It's been a while, but she has driven it a couple times. Sneaked underscore Omar asks, Do you smoke weed? Smoke weed every day. Astro. Jordan Last Kings asks, where did you guys go on your first date? Was it the movies? It was Wingstop. Oh yeah, after my soccer game. <laughs> I have a question coming from Victor Q23. If you could change one thing about the shoe game, what would you change and why? If it was up to me, one thing I would change about the shoe game is how many pairs are produced. I would overproduce every single thing so when you walk into the mall, all the Jordans are on the shelves and it's easy to get your size and this will eliminate the people that buy to resell because there's not gonna be a resale market when there is pretty much every single size in stock. That's like when you go into the mall and you see the Jordan Fusions on the shelves and they're just sitting there. People buy it because they like it, and if they don't like it, they're not gonna buy it. There's no value that goes into it um, past what the store is selling it for. So that's what I would change about the sneaker game is just overproducing all of these shoes so we can get our pairs, there's no fights, there's no commotion, and everybody's happy. From Ricardo underscore Garces, sorry if that's wrong, Garces21, he asks, how does your girlfriend feel about your private info blocker? <laughs> Did you burp? It's the mouth! No. Next question is coming in from Freddy underscore Palmer. What's your girlfriend's favorite shoe you own? I like the Air Max 90 Infrareds. 
All right, all right. Nice choice. I got you, I got you. Coming from Joey Audi, what is your girlfriend's thoughts on you being a sneakerhead? I personally think that he has too many pairs of shoes because there's no room in here. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Jay Z rocks one two three four. What is your favorite thing about your girlfriend? And then you have to say what's your favorite thing about me. So I'm gonna go first. My favorite thing about her is that she doesn't get jealous when I compliment other girls. We could be out in public. And I'm gonna be like. That girl is fine as fuck. She's not like the the jealous kind that will that will start like a big fight in front of everyone. She's not like that. So that's what I like about you. You cool. You cool for that. You cool, fam. You cool. You, you cool, fam. I like that I'm more small than him. What I like most about this one right here. Ow. <laughs> is we get each other. We make fun of people in public mm -hmm. and like we just we just like pretty much think the same thing. If there's someone walking down the street and they said something weird or they dressed a certain way, we'll just look at each other and pretty much read each other's mind and be like Why do you like Angelus Direct so much? That is coming from King Fat Eye 2.0. King Fatty 2.0, I don't know how you say that. But why do you like Angelus Direct so much? Ever since I got my sponsorship with Angelus Direct, they have been a family to me. Shout out to Tyler from AngelusDirect.com. He's been helping me just grow and improve my videos and improve what I'm doing. So they're family to me. I will never turn my back on Angelus Direct. I'm loyal to my soil and they know how it is. So that's why I love Angelus Direct so much. Ben underscore got kick underscore kicks. If your girl bought you fake kicks, would you wear them? Oh my god. Why is your room so clean? Are you OCD? To be honest, I don't think I'm OCD, but I'm, I'm a... He's really organized. I'm really organized. I'm not OCD. But the thing is, is that I don't want a room that's messy. I can't, I can't concentrate in a room that's messy. What it is, is this visual noise. That's what I call it. If you walk into a room that is completely messy, there's like dirty clothes on the ground, there's like mold in a bowl, there's like flies hovering over it, there's like a dead rat in the corner, stuff like that. I can't think straight, but when everything is all organized, I have like a nice floor, it's all vacuumed, my bed is made, this is in place, this is in place, my mind is clear and I can focus on what I'm doing. I can get everything that I want to get done, I'm not distracted by anything, so that's why I like my room organized. You're kind of like that too, right? So, that's not, I don't think that's OCD. Is that OCD? No. It's just OCD being, is a mental illness. I like being neat, and that's just the way it is. I don't know. That's just me. Did you burp again? It smells so good! <laughs> Alejo underscore Diego underscore favorite YouTubers besides yourself. I really like watching Timothy Delgado's videos. I like Kathleen Lights. Um, she's like a makeup tutorial YouTube. Oh, what about uh, Onish Pranks? That one too. That one's pretty funny. And then I like JK News. Um, I watch BuzzFeed videos. I can't think at the top of my head. Here we go. We're gonna do a list right quick, really, really quick. My boy Ruben, Epic Five TV. I know you're watching this right now. Shout out to Ruben. We got T Blake, Yo Auntie, Bullet RC, Tony D Two Wild, Hess Kicks. My boy Timothy De La Ghetto. Bro, you still owe me a drawing. Um, we got Nightwing Two Three Zero Three. We got uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. It's slipping from me. It's slipping from me. Um, we have a whole bunch of people. We have a whole bunch of people, I just can't list it right now, but that's everything off the top of my dome piece real quick for you. So shout out to those people. I love what you guys are doing. You don't feel hot? Mm-mm. I feel like I'm cooking like a rotisserie chicken right now. What the heck is a rotisserie chicken? Last question to wrap this video up is coming from I am Jay Breezy and it is a question for the Bay. So are you going to miss Fremont High School? Um, I don't think I'm gonna miss high school. I'm probably gonna miss my friends and seeing them every day and having like a set routine. But besides that, I'm probably not gonna miss high school. 
We wanted to thank everyone that asked these dope questions. If you like this video, like it, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Alright, we will catch you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching. We're out. Peace.